Hey, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to DCS World. So as always, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for joining me for a brand new DCS World video. And here we are. We're back in the uh, DCS World Ultimate Argument campaign. This is mission number two, the evening of the 8th. So let's go ahead and go through the uh, briefing screen here. I'm not sure if you guys can see it properly. We're playing in VR again. I promised you guys would play in VR, and here we are, we're playing VR. Here we are playing VR. <laughs> Rhyming words again. Okay, uh, situation. So the decision has been taken. Bringing troops of, con uh, of troop... Bringing of troops continues through the Rocky Tunnel. You have even already defined our presence at the theater, so the Georgian fighters have understood that they would not... Blah, blah, blah. So you guys can pause the video and read that. So objectives. Patrol the greater... Lahiv River between waypoint 2 and waypoint 3. The task is to prevent air attacks on marching forces. Take off Mozdok, land Mozdok, divert Beslan. Uh, call sign 131, Battle Command Raskat, 2nd Element 133. Um, not too much wind, uh, although we have some wind at 8,000. So, yeah. So basically, this is day two, where we landed in Mozdok, and we're going to be taking off from Mozdok, and we're going to be patrolling between waypoint two and waypoint three here, basically. There's a tunnel where Russian forces are coming out. Basically, there's a tunnel, a road go going through the Caucasus Mountains. It comes out at the end of the tunnel, and they want to secure this town here, Tinvali, Sinvali, something like that. So we have to pretty much defend the troops going down this road from coming under air attack. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get this started. All right, everything looks normal. Let's go ahead and turn on some lights. Turn on some ex interior lights as well. Let's go ahead and get permission to taxi. Runway 26. Roger that. Roger that. All right. Let's get going. All right, everything is good. Engines to 80 percent. Nothing's burning. Good. To 90. Brakes released. Full reheat. I'm going to rotate at 250. There we go. Landing gear up. And we're going to waypoint one. Alright, flaps up. So we'll come out of burner once we hit 3,000 meters. Roger that. Alright, wingman. Go formation. Line of rest. Alright, coming out of burner. They want us at 5,000 meters, but I'm gonna, again, just like before, 
I'm gonna this time I'm gonna climb to eight thousand. But the only downside is when you're looking for targets below you, you have to you have to point the radar antenna physically down. So let number two come and catch up, and once two catches up, we will uh, see you guys at waypoint two, I believe it is. Let's have a look. Yeah, waypoint two. Waypoint two and three. So the war has officially started. Um, there's official hostilities between the Georgians and the Russians, and we're cleared hot. So I'll see you guys once we're at, uh, close to waypoint two. Now the problem with the R27ER is that you have to maintain lock. It's a semi-active radar homing air-to-air -air missile. It's not like an AMRAAM. It's not like an R77. You have to constantly hold lock, radar lock, on the target that you want to hit in order for um, the missile to impact. So in that way you get really close, which is something that you don't want to do. You want to stay back with something like the SU-27. Unless, of course, you have to. You have to get into a dogfight, and that's different. But generally, in, a, in an F-15, in an SU-27, you want to stay back. You want to stay back, use your long-range weapons. But unfortunately, with the semi-active radar homing missiles, you kind of have no choice but to, um, you know, wait until the missile impacts. Roger. So it seems like we have some more friendly uh, aircraft. Let's go ahead and uh, turn off the nav lights. Uh, 10 kilometers to waypoint 2. Mud spike, 11 o'clock. Roger that. Okay, yep. You have to announce on station, I think. Yep. Contact bearing 166 for 70. Roger. Yep, tally. Whoa. So low. Fox one. All right, wingman, wingman. Don't go crazy. Uh, engage bandits. Fox one again. Fox one. I think these guys are helicopters. Yeah, I can see helicopters. Yep, helicopters. Seen. Tally. Come on. Come on. Lock. Lock. Fox 2. Fox 2. Come on. Nope. Yep, those are Georgian MI-24s. One sixty six for twenty. Roger. Come on, I'm trying to get a get a lock with the helmet mounted queuing system. 
There we go. Fox Stu. Fox Stu. R77. R73s. There we go. Splash, splash. Roger, roger. I'm getting really choppy here. Frame rates are getting quite choppy here. It's very hectic. Okay. Come on, let's get down, let's get down. One one for thirty five, Roger. Roger, seen, seen. Whoa, there's so many contacts. Jesus. Lock, come on, lock. Come on. Come on! <laughs> uh, lock. Lock. <laughs> okay. That's a friendly. That's two. That's gotta be two. Alright. There were so many contacts. There's one more right there. There we go. Right there. He's way out though. I think two... I think two took care of a lot of them. Alright, I'm gonna ask him to rejoin. This guy looks like a fighter. Well, it's not tunnel vision though. Two thirty six for sixty, yes. Cover me. Get a not tunnel vision though. This looks like a fighter. It looks like two of them, two fighters. Let's get some altitude. Let's get some altitude, let's get some speed. As soon as we're in range, I'm going to fire, so that we can put him on the defensive. Fox 1. I can see the- I can see both of them. Tally- Tally 2. Tally both fighters. I'm locking the one on the right. 2, engage. Fox one. We're merged. We're in the merge. There we go. Splash, splash, splash.
I don't know what he's saying. No joy. How are we doing for fuel? Tally, tally. No joy. Tally one. Who is this? Who is this? This looks like two. Yeah, that's two. At least I hope so. Unless the Georgians have AC 27s, which they could. Yeah, that's two. All right, let's head back north. Whew. <laughs> this was very hectic. Very, very, very hectic. Alright, let's go back. Let's go back. Uh, flight. I've lost all comms with uh, command. I have no idea what's going on. Let's let's go back north. Let's flow north. Waypoint 3 is behind us. Waypoint 1. Nah, waypoint 2 actually. Let's go to waypoint 2. Where is waypoint 2? I have no idea if we're clear to RTV or not. Alright, let's go to BBR. 215 for 10. Roger that. Two fifteen for ten. Uh, I don't see anything. That's two. How am I doing for fuel? Not good. Not good. All right, I'm going back north. What's going on? I think two... <laughs> I think two is in the merge. Gotta go back and help him. <laughs> I'm gonna run out of fuel. Yeah. Yep, tally, tally on his fox. Tally on his fox. Nice, you champion. Two, you freaking champion. He splashed one and he's coming back. Very good. Tally on his fox. Alright, let's. Rejoin, please. Uh, command. I'm pretty sure we're cleared to RTB. No burner. No burner because we have absolutely no fuel left. Um, return. 
Let's go ahead and RTB. I don't think even uh, with this fuel level we can make it back. I'm not sure we can make it back. We spent a lot of fuel. Fuel, 1500. Yeah. Fuel, 1500. That's right. <laughs> it's going to be bingo very soon, so we need to climb. We need to climb. Two, where are you? All right, he's on my uh, six o'clock to my left. This uh, tactical awareness display is actually pretty good. I like this. We need to climb to like 12,000 and then glide our way back to Mozdok. Or we can divert to uh, Bestland, which is just on the right hand side of the path. You guys can see that. So, hopefully, everything will, uh, will be good. But this was quite hectic. We shot down two choppers and one fighter. So, pretty good. Three three on station and bulls zero ten for forty at six thousand. Okay. Yeah, I think we're done. We have to be. We have to be done. <laughs> we did more than our part, more than our share of uh, fighting. Two shut down. I think three, either three or two. Okay, so unless something interesting happens, I'll see you guys once we are uh, about to land near Mazdak. It's only 150-ish kilometers till Mazdak, so I'll see you guys once we, uh, we're on the descent for the approach. See you then. Unless, of course, we get jumped by, uh, <laughs> by F-15s or F-16s or something like that. Alright guys, welcome back. So, there's an airborne target, an airborne radar, relatively close to my 5 o'clock, 6 o'clock, just constantly pinging. I'm not sure if that's, because the last time I said that was 2, but I don't think that's 2, I, he just, he just went away. <laughs> Maybe it's a Georgian fighter? Or maybe one of our other fighters? I have no idea who, who that could be. It's to my 6, airborne radar, relatively close. Now we're on the, uh, pretty much on the glide down to Mozdok, and I still have like 1,200 kilograms of uh, fuel. 1.2 tons of fuel. Eighty-six kilometers to Mazdok. Mud spike five o'clock. Yes, I can see. I can see mud spike. Mud, mud spike five o'clock. But that's not the primary. The primary is the friendly one to our ten o'clock, which is a long-range SAM. So we, at the moment, if you guys have a look at the RWR, we're being painted by three different things. Two different things, actually. So a sh medium range radar and a long range radar. Long range radar is friendly. It's from Mazdak or somewhere close to Mazdak. The other one is to our six o'clock. 70 kilometers to Mazdak. This was <laughs> this was quite hectic, but I, as I said, it is easier for me to spot targets, to see targets at a distance with VR. But it is di more difficult to identify what those targets are, even at closer range. Like for example, I'm looking at two right now, but 
I know it's him because of the uh, tactical display, but I, I cannot make out the shape of what the plane is. Obviously, I can see it's a fighter, but I won't be able to tell you if it's an Su-27, if it's an F-16. So, yeah. Let's go ahead and turn on the uh, nav lights. And once we get down closer, I'll give two permission to RTV to land. I'm not sure what time it is. I think it's. Wow, it's 8 o'clock. 8 o'clock in the evening, and it's this bright? Really? There we go, I can see Mozdok to our 11 o'clock. Let's go ahead and contact the tower. no more RLS landings let's just go ahead and put it down on the runway over there drop the landing gear I'm not sure if you're drop if you're supposed to drop flaps in the su 27 for landing I 
Yes, sir. This thing is an absolute joy to fly. So smooth. This plane is like one of the smoothest planes that I've flown. I'm not sure how accurate the fl its flight model is. Given that it's only a Flaming Cliffs 3 aircraft, it's not a full fidelity module, but this is this thing is smooth. Gear is down. Fuel 800. Roger that, Betty. Bingo fuel. Roger that. There's a bit of crosswind. Roger that. There we go. Some arrow breaking. Mission successful. Good. All right. Where are my taxi lights? Slow down. Nose wheel steering on. Let's go ahead and exit the runway. Nope. There we go. Nose wheel steering wasn't on. Okay. Alright, I see two. Is just on the uh, final. It's a little high. A little bit too high, but anyway, <laughs> I'm not sure how to turn on the taxi lights. But uh, yeah, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching episode two or part two of the ultimate argument campaign in the SU-27 Flanker. This was a little bit more successful. Um, as I said, I need tech view. I need to get the uh, TAC view software so I can show you guys the, a proper debrief a proper map of the whole engagement of what happened who shot at who we might have dodged a few missiles M might have dodged one or two missiles let's go ahead and park up right here There you go. All right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching episode two of the Ultimate Argument Campaign. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you guys in episode three. Until then, please take care and bye-bye.
All right, guys. So just before we end this video, um, I wanted to go ahead, go ahead and give you guys some sort of debrief. So I managed to filter the log for the end of the the battle, and you guys can see that me, SU27, the player, shot R27ER. So that's the AA10 Alamo. Uh, we hit and killed an S a, a, a MI24V, and again we shot and hit an F-16C Block 50. So we shot down a Block 50 as well as two or one MI-24Vs. So we shot down a Block Block 50 F-16 as well as an MI-24V and another SC-27, which is not my wingman. My, my wingman is 133 shot an MQ-1A Predator drone. <laughs> um, so you can filter the uh, the logs by the weapons. So let's go ahead and have a look at the R-73. So I remember shooting R-73s as well. So here it says uh, player, which is me, SU-27, hit and killed uh, an MI-24V again. So it was exactly as I expected. We shot down, I personally shot down two helicopters and an F-16. I didn't know Georgia had F-16s. <laughs> I got to be more careful now. I had no idea Georgia was flying F-16s. It's very strange. Um, yeah. So we can go ahead and have a look at my wingman as well. Or maybe not. <laughs> but anyways, ladies and gentlemen, uh, I'm going to go ahead and close out this video here. Just to give you guys, just wanted to give you guys a better big picture here of what happened. So thank you so much for watching. See you next time.